Okie dokie, early access hotfix 85, this is what we hear for today's video. So recently Iron Mace has cooked up a patch for us, and I was hoping we're gonna get something different, something drastic. And not this, but this is what we ended up getting. Congratulations to all my homie fellows warlocks, demon form is so freaking back. Yep, this is it, you heard it right. The warlock is back, let's freaking go. So pretty much this is what we're gonna have for today's video. And also, and also something got nerfed, and also something more got nerfed, and something got respectively buffed. Not sure why, why would this get buffed? Whether it was a cancer, is like when you get to, you know, it's still a cancer. I don't think if anything wizard should ever be on top because wizard has way too many spells they could cast and the more utility you have the stronger the class gonna be so i don't think um respectively i don't no negativity here but wizard should never be on top of the food chain because the, the class becomes way overly oppressive but anyway anyway let's go over some stuff and let's try to see what they actually ended up fixing as for the first piece of information we got a little fix issue which crashed when you try to complete the quest by using the quest log and as for the sure i mean i never did it i never bothered doing this so it was never really that big of a deal to me but um as for the second we fixed an issue where platform specific payment could not be completed properly oh well okay well i mean that probably would suck a dick if you try to buy something for example there is a cool little emoji horn where you could actually you know announce everyone where you're at it's actually super loud i want to buy it but um i can't i couldn't because it was such a pain to ask to actually buy it <laughs> like it was actually quite easy in the previous launcher but not anymore it's not it's different fix an issue where the cooldown was not activated if the warlock jumped while channeling dark offering <laughs> if you didn't know how it worked it was actually quite hilarious i didn't want to bother too much with this um and do warlock videos on it but uh because i already did one and it was way too um, troublesome for me to do because i don't like the class at all it just literally you know killing me to play in that class too much power and basically this is what the change means so pretty much you know what does dark offering does it pretty much drains your health while giving you the constant uh, flow of uh, additional magical and physical damage bonus. And pretty much at the end point, you will end up at having plus 50 magical, plus 50 physical damage bonus. And basically, you could have jumped without, and, um, you know, channel cast this without getting hurt. And that's beautiful. So pretty much you would end up just getting free plus 50% magical and physical for free. That thing is so freaking strong. It's actually actually ridiculous especially for the casting warlock like oh god that was terrifying as f anyway let's go over on to the next one fix the inventory so it cannot be interacted when the druid is an animal form this is how it was originally you walk up to some corpse and then you turn from a rat to a human you quickly interact with the corpse so that you would be able to loot everything there is and while you're looting you can go back into the rat form and when you go back into right form, you would be able to hide within the corpse, which is kind of hilarious. Well, some people did it, and uh, the content they produced was absolutely ridiculous. Jay Griffin himself did that, and that was super funny. All right, fixed an issue with the certain item holders um, that could float in the air, such as arrows, and that had blocking effects. So this is how it works. You can stockpile arrows. You can, like, shoot arrow into the arrow into the arrow into the arrow all you want and then you can for example put traps on them and basically as of right now this seems like you wouldn't be able to shoot the narrow into the narrow so probably they reduced they reduced the hitbox or and now it's probably i know does not exist at all for the arrows maybe but i'm not sure but like yep i mean this is probably what happened um basically with previously while stacking arrows you could have put um a trap like somewhere where it's physically couldn't be seen or physically not supposed to be somewhere around corners 
while you know you stuck those arrows and you just put a, a you know trap like in the middle room while it's dark and just you know can't be seen hilarious funny funny like really fancy i'm gonna be honest but uh i don't think it's uh, supposed to be in the game at all traps are not supposed to be in the game at all any veteran player would agree with me that traps is absolute cancer for the whole community um fix an issue where some boss monsters could not break down the pavis or any Anyone curious if you ever been doing the Mr. Dragon, Mr. Wy or Miss Wyvern into the ice caverns? Pretty much this is what people were doing. They just brought in a bunch of pavises and they threw them all over the floor. And basically just by having a pavise down, you are pretty much invincible from range attacks and bunch of other bullshit, which is pretty nice. And, um, you know, it's just a little, you know, nice change. People who are farming Wyvern probably use that very often people who didn't well they probably use some other cheese or they just did it normally okay fix an issue where yeti could attack four times instantly oh yeah that's a beautiful little change it wasn't just yeti there is also other mobs that could insta kill you um one of them was yeti and i do believe the spiders as well spiders could also attack you four plus times instantly just by doing you know one little swing attack animation and you just drop down that even though it's a tiny spider but uh, this is where i found that that's in the um um ice cavern hell so pretty much you gotta go floor below in the mountains um you know it in the mountains so in the ice mountains wherever i hope i called it right and basically yep just be very careful with mobs they do hurt quite a lot even tiny spiders they're not meant to actually do that much damage they fucking destroy you know even if you're pdr fix an issue where one of the ladders in the cave tom was buried in the wall and was not visible well them i mean i know never never come across that honestly not gonna lie don't even know what this word that letter was fix an issue where the visual effect was not displayed when escaping through a portal mm, okay i mean does it change anything maybe it does maybe it's not i don't think it's important continue to fix areas that the druid rat form should not be able to access not sure if this is should be uh, too much of a concern because basically ability to exploit a little is never gonna be you know that much of an issue the outcome of uh, you know you getting out of the map is basically going to result in only one thing you will simply end up dying <laughs> you're not going to get anything out of it you will just like um you know squeeze through a place where you're not supposed to squeeze through and you will die <laughs> ah so this is actually quite interesting change now it's going to take a quite a bit to um interact with the course which kind of reasonable which kind of reasonable you know what i mean I understand why this change this change kind of realistically makes sense it's gonna take a while to search someone up when you literally need to go through pockets and stuff and i think it's a good change cleric blonde weapon mastery physical attack bonus has been changed from 15 to 10 percent i mean i mean that's like minus five damage from the flange mace <laughs> no realistically the from 15 to 10 percent that's like they just simply decide to remove five damage basically you just have to do one more um hit to actually kill people this change is very big very huge change very big nerf by the way very big nerf warlock demon form health cost per second change from three to 1.5 if i haven't mentioned yet we are so fucking back baby warlocks are back demon form is back it's time to go and produce some demon form content druid's rat form now squeaks at random intervals <laughs> that's kind of cute i mean that's actually a good thing because for example there's gonna be some rados that just gonna fucking ride around and uh, squeak <laughs> and you and you will be able to find them out lichens got buffed from three to four and now has a headshot damage reduction wait a second are you saying that um lichen is a better lizard oh wow we got a full rebuff guys everybody you know say big thank you to the iron race now our little puppy will have more vigor and will have a little bit of damage reduction beautiful armor penetration of rondel and stiletto change from 10 to 5 okay i mean i never cared i i played the on the rock only for three days in just to make video straight up i played on it i tested it and you know i think this is um 
I think this change is barely, like, fucking almost irrelevant. If anything, rogues in Wiz should not be make them completely invisible, um, because they already buffed the other aspects of the rogue, and um, the rogue shouldn't get a nerf. The rogue should get a nerf. I'm a rogue main, I love the class, so, you know, treat my opinion with respect on the rogue because I'm the guy who made this class for 1500 hours and uh, when someone play the class that they absolutely fucking love and they say that the class needs to be nerfed, well, you better believe me. Okay, the spellbook, crystal ball stuff, more magic pen. We got more magic penetration, boys. Wow, well, I mean, this stuff's gonna penetrate harder than ever. Wow, bro, why would they fucking do this? I don't know, but... Uh, this is not just gonna impact wizards, it's gonna impact warlocks, it's gonna impact clerics. Not much clerics though, but uh, yeah, not much clerics, because clerics usually don't bother too much with uh, running magic stuff. Increase the damage of a lone boss by one. Wow, holy cow. Increase the damage of a lone boss by one. Damn, god damn, god damn, brother, they decide to buff rangers. Fuck me, man. Fuck that shit. Fuck this shit, man! Slightly lower the amount of magic resistance earned per will within the sweet spot of the curve will 21 to 29. Slightly lower the amount of physical damage resistance earned per armor rating within the upper sweet spot. Oh, so you're saying they just fucking buffed rogues more? <laughs> <laughs> they buffed rogues, they buffed rangers, they buffed... Oh wow, they buffed barbarians as well, I would rather say as well. They buffed everything, but they nerfed BDR, which is... Alright, I guess? I don't know. I know, I don't really... Because, like, when I play fighter, I fighter feels quite decent. When I play, I know, rogue, rogue feels broken. When I feel, play cleric, cleric feels, you know, quite, quite good. I haven't played ranger yet, though. But I don't want to even bother touching ranger even though it got um buffed by one damage but like yeah no playing ranger in a current day and age is like it's like i know it's it's just such a toxic fucking class holy shit like extremely toxic fucking most disrespected class in the game it's like playing on a ranger is like fucking telling the community that you don't like them basically this is what i can say about every ranger player Slightly lower the amount of magic resistance earned per will. Oh yeah, I have already mentioned that, my bad. Unique artifact raid weapon has better primary attributes than their legendary counterparts. So, wait a minute, wait a second, hold on, something iron right here. So you're saying now we have unique weapons. Unique artifact items give an additional random modifier. Non-artifact unique items now drop again. So we got unique um items back. And... I could assume be mainly, mainly because there are some people who abused uniques by using the reward system and end up with a bunch of uniques even when they were not supposed to be in the game. I've seen dozens, if not all nearly hundreds of unique items being presented in the game that does not belong there or not supposed to be there at all. But uh, due to the previous change, people were able to cheese out the reward system and ended up getting, um, you know, like uh, unique items that they're not supposed to get from as a reward from the previous patch. I mean, from the previous wipe. Volumetric fog in the ice cavern has been temporarily removed for improvements. Huh? Nah, this is cap. I it was it was beautiful change. It was beautiful change. I I don't think this is right. I I don't think they should have even bought and improved it because it was great. The Goblin Merchant now gives a twenty five percent discount at Affinity and fifty percent discount at one hundred fifty. And when you're selling stuff back through the dungeon recovery system, I mean, okay, when not you, but when you're gonna buy back the items that you lost in the sauce and um, the Goblin end up bringing it back, so you would pretty much get a little bit of cheese back before cheaper which is which is good i guess which is i think it's really good if anything those fucking items were way fucking too expensive and so expensive that there is no reason in particular why would you want to buy a back unless you're running this because for the most time purple items would be cheaper in the market than from the goblin improved visibility of the surge button in the marketplace fucking what they did made it bigger and had to announce it how about you announce the gear score changes um that you recently did without letting anyone know. This fix, this week's hot fix introduced minor balance changes and reintroduction of the unique, great, 
items god damn bro god damn holy fuck wow dude what a changes man oh to make looting a little more enticing for high roller we also introduced an interaction time when looting an opposing player corpse to make scavenging during a battle a riskier and over mm, i like this we're nearing the completion of the new matchmaking system that will assist in creating a better session for everyone in the meantime we will continue to experiment with variety of gear based matchmaking polls as a stopgap measure Oh, oh, so they did mention. My bad, my bad. I'm sorry. We thank you for your support and we'll see you in the dungeon. Oh, you know. All right, so with this, the video gonna come to an end. I hope you enjoyed today's patch. As a little conclusion, we got Withered, buffed, unreasonable. We got Rogues, North, barely. We got Clerics, North, fairly, fairly hard, I would say. And pretty much, yeah. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It's Timo. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the dungeon. All right, so you want to hear a joke? I actually want to applaud while standing still to Iron Mace for how consistently they mess up our patches. Some stuff does never change. And some stuff is like, you know, it's like a tradition. When the Iron Mace have comes out with the patch, it means something is going to be messed up for certain. And this was not an exemption. So pretty much this is what we have. We messed up everybody so for next three hours the game is gonna be offline fix an issue where payments could not be made on steam platform yep this is literally what i mentioned right freaking here like i could i, I want to buy a horn but i can't buy it <laughs> an issue that uh basically that was right here where you could stockpile a bunch of arrows in the air and basically they had a block effect as well as you could put traps on them now it's back <laughs> because they apparently was able to figure that out um because there is going to be an obvious side effect and the side effect is going to be that um those effects i mean those items um well they're not gonna stack so you you will be able just to shoot through them and probably that's probably the first side effect they could possibly think of dreamwalk got changed from four to three seconds and well it's got hard nerf i would say but it's still from four to three from 12 to 15 it's a drastic it's like fucking almost i would say like 30 to 40 percent um nerf i would say the the change is very huge it's very huge we got three seconds here we got one second here and then basically combined together and we got a really drastic change now now you actually will be able to poke them a lot more often and um actually be able to deal with the dream walk but honestly honestly when you're playing on a hard hitting class this change does not matter. This change only matter when you're fighting with a dagger or with a rapier or something that doesn't do way too much damage, you know, in them, um, like, or something that doesn't hit as hard or hit as hard hitting weapons. To prevent abuse, check characters created on Legend Status account can now be deleted one day after creation. So, hmm. I don't know what this has to stand for. I would assume they increased the, um, amount of characters you could make or something or maybe the idea would be um make a new character level it up get the um, golden back for example um transfer it over to a different class delete the class i mean probably this is what they refer to this is the first thought that came to my mind anyway basically i just want to let you know there was another hot fix for the hot fix for usual hot fix because usually when there is a hot fix there's going to be another hot fix for the hot fix and not just once but sometimes more than once for example another hot fix which came for a hot fix right here where is it somewhere along those lines and then you know for original hot fix or let's go back and see another hot fix for a patch you know some stuff does never change iron mace always managed to impress me with how consistent they are with their patches and you know i i gotta upload them for all the effort we do anyway it's demo and i'll see you in the next one